Hello everyone, this is Amy from DTI Plus P with the development of TIMES and AI technology. The current demand for vacuuming prototyping has increased dramatically. You may not be familiar with the prototyping process. In general, the, for the following process are often considered in the prototyping product. Injection molding, rotati rotation molding, machining, 3D printing, and vacuuming. The advantage and the disadvantage of each process are introduced next. The advantage of injection molding, high precision product stability. Unit price is lower, but it needs a long, long time and high cost for development. Also, the mold modification are expensive or visually for small quantity for prototyping parts, robots, charging fiber, and some other complicated structure parts. It's inapplicable. Rotation molding general involves some plastic containers without considering the appearance. Machine and 3D printer products are size precision, more suitable for small pieces, and entirely of some assembly parts without more fit but high cost. As for vacuum forming, it has low mold cost and faster development, also easy to modify. The unit price is low and no matter big or small size. So the most common process for prototyping is vacuum forming process. Today, I want to introduce the process of our prototyping department to provide a better understanding. First of all, when we receive a real sample or 3D joint of a customer project, we will analyze the feasibility of the project based on the 3D at the very beginning. Since vacuum forming is a stretchy process, it will lead to uneven sickness. Then when assembly the product, it will also bring different levels between the product. After affecting the later assembly, we will consider the use of positive or negative forming according to the according to the structure design of the product. Because the side that touch the mold will have more accurate dimension when the vacuum forming and also confirm the thickness of the material before making the mold. The most important, the most important part of the prototyping is bonding. We will use three ways of bonding. Firstly, the most common way is to use glue, such as ABS glue. The, this kind of glue allows two ABS parts to be fused together. Secondary, we can use the welding gun. It can quickly combine two plastic together because it dries faster, so we can save time to cold the product. Thirdly, we can use incest glue to help this. This about three ways of bonding. We strongly suggest using the same material, especially use ABS material because ABS have stable performance, flexible and good painting at the handle. The next step after the bonding process is policy. After bonding, we will use filler to deal with the sun gaps, as well as some uneven surface. This situation needs to go through the faster rough hand machine sanding. Rough, rough sanding after this, there are still holes between the part and the gaps. We will use filler again, and then more details use of sandpaper until the surface is flat enough before painting. After the, after the painting process, it looks like a completely product without assembly. Usually, prototyping products will be combined with vacuum forming and the machining or 3D printer to, to achieve the client's needs, such as some internal function, structure, and the stress. Each assembly part we will make the fixture to and the position to lead the product consistency. Actually, to maintain the good performance and appearance, we also use physical assembly. For instance, the product with built-in display screen will require the customer provide assembly parts. Since each set of product, we will do physical assembly. All the components is perfectly assembly. We mark the same code for each 
each part to avoid the defective assembly when trying to do it. After ensuring the perf perfect assembly of the whole set of products, then the final step is the painting process. In addition, we have some painting effects to choose, such as a frost painting, rubber painting, gloss painting, PU painting, and so on, to meet for your to meet your different needs for your product. Finally, each painting product will go through professional inspection by quality department before packing and shipping to ensure all the products are qualified. Now let's go to see some of our case and the production line.